Hi guys, this is Game On News. I'm Grace and we're going into an Easter bank holiday over here in the UK. So you're not going to hear from me until Tuesday. So stick around because this is all you're getting for the time being. First up, PlayStation's update 1.70 is coming soon according to PlayStation's official blog. Now I've got all the latest news on the features you can expect when the update finally hits the console. There's the Share Factory, that is like Xbox One's upload studio where you can edit gameplay videos with text, stickers, audio and stuff like that. There will also be the long-awaited update that will allow you to turn off HDCP, meaning you can use your capture hardware to record gameplay. I've definitely had enough of privately sharing it to Facebook because it takes absolutely ages. And there will be a play as soon as the game is released feature, meaning you can pre-download a pre-ordered game so when it's released, you can immediately play it without clock watching, waiting for it to bloody download. There is loads more to come though, and apparently Sony are very excited to see what the PlayStation Nation, bath does with these new social features. Next up, it looks like the Xbox edition of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 has been cancelled as a NeoGAF user has spotted it has been completely taken away from the official website like it never even existed. The user has spotted that the site no longer gives you an option to pre-order it, the Xbox One cover of the game has been removed and, according to someone over in Germany, a German retailer has sent an email saying the publisher cancelled and pulled it. Alongside this, Amazon UK and EB Games Australia have both removed the release date for the Xbox One version of the game off of their sites. There's been no official confirmation yet, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. And finally, it looks like Nintendo are planning to bring out a Mario Kart 8 Wii U bundle as artwork for it has started to pop up online. This image seen on French site Gameblog shows off a standard black Wii U 32GB storage console, the game and a week trial on the Wii U karaoke app. They really want to make people sing, don't they? Anyway, it's not officially confirmed or anything, but they did it last year for Zelda's Wind Waker at $300, so the game was basically free. They might well be doing that again this time round, which will definitely get people sniffing around buying a Wii U if they want to get their mitts on the 32 tracks Double Rainbow Road goodness of Mario Kart 8 coming out on May 30th. We've got a preview of Mario Kart 8 coming out next week with loads of exclusive gameplay, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And if not for that, I'm here every day from Monday to Friday bringing you the latest, greatest gaming news. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.